Oh, you're from Hawaii? I've seen that movie Johnny Tsunami. You know how to surf, right? Sorry, I don't. Bro, I fucking love pineapple on my pizza, burger, salad, and even in my cereal. Bro, I heard you guys live in grass shacks. Is that true? Oh shit, you're Hawaiian? I've never met a Hawaiian before. Nope. So how do you guys get from island to island? Are there like some bridges that connect them together or something? Um, I heard you guys ride dolphins to get to school and work. Are you f serious? Being born and raised in Hawaii, you'd be surprised by some of the crazy shit I've heard from people who have zero clue what life is like on those mysterious islands in the middle of the ocean. The purpose of this video is to squash six misconceptions outsiders have of Hawaii. I'm sure there are many more Hawaii stereotypes local people have encountered in addition to the ones I'm about to discuss. However, I've heard the following on numerous occasions and are the most common misconceptions in my experience. So without further ado, let's start. When I was in college in Oregon and I'd meet someone for the first time and tell them I'm from Hawaii, the most common question I'd be asked was, do you know how to surf? Despite being within a close 10 minute drive to a few surf spots, I unfortunately don't know how to surf, as I'm sure it's the case with many Hawaii locals. I tried surfing in high school, but I was horrible and it just wasn't my cup of tea. Many Hawaii residents love to partake in beach related activities that aren't surfing, such as snorkeling, fishing, barbecuing, and lounging. From my perspective, surfing is a hobby enjoyed by locals who have the passion, time, and simply live near an adequate surf spot. I'm sorry, but I fucking hate Hawaiian pizza. Firstly, just because you throw pineapple on something doesn't make it Hawaiian. And secondly, pineapple doesn't enhance a pizza or a burger. Rather, it's meant to be eaten as a standalone product. Pineapple has been the fruit synonymously related to Hawaii because it was grown in abundance since John Kidwell started the first pineapple plantation in 1891. Don't get me wrong, I like pineapple, especially mixed in lihimoi powder, but is it my favorite Hawaii-made fruit? Okay. Hawaii is also known for other delicious fruit like lilikoi, papaya, mango, lychee, and guava. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakikula Hawaii. Trust me, we don't live on the beach in grass shacks. We live in houses with walls. We have modern air conditioning units. We have electricity and we have running water. Only gazillionaires can afford to live right on the beach and they sure as hell aren't living in grass shacks. Hawaii people have shit to worry about and we deal with life stresses as most people around the world do. I don't know how we're all branded as having the aloha spirit. Aloha bitches! The only person I know who embodies this level of kindness and generosity is Uncle Clay from the popular shave ice place Hopa, which was recently featured on Netflix's Somebody Feed Phil. I'm just another Hawaiian uncle. <laughs> Welcome to our ohana. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Before Uncle Clay opened up Hopa, I grew up going to his crack seat store after my little league baseball games and practices and I can honestly say he's the nicest man I've ever met who possesses that atypical aloha spirit who's like you nobody you know, aren't we all individual unique beautifully created masterpieces yes, uncle clay is an outlier however although most Hawaii residents are respectful to one another as well as the tourists if you're visiting Hawaii with a preconceived notion that everybody here is gonna treat you like you're part of their ohana you're in for a rude awakening. I distinctly remember when I went to golf camp in Florida. Yes, I said golf camp. The summer of my sophomore year in high school, one of the fellow golfers asked me whether there were bridges that connected all of the islands together. I didn't know how to answer that bizarre question other than no. We also don't use canoes to hop from one island to the next. If we want to do an inter-island trip, the only feasible way to do that is by plane. Oh, and fun fact, we used to have a super ferry back in 2007 that shuttled people from the Waianae coast of Oahu to Kahului, Maui, but it flopped mainly due to the seas being too rough. I've had many debates with my college mainland friends who consider me a Hawaiian. The basis of their argument was because I was born, raised, and I'm from Hawaii, that makes me a Hawaiian. A lot of them couldn't wrap their heads around Hawaiian being an actual ethnicity. And I've had to explain to them since I don't have any Hawaiian blood, I don't identify as native Hawaiian. Their typical rebuttal would be, well, why is it okay as a person from Oregon for you to call me Oregonian? Bitch, because being Oregonian isn't an actual race 
race or ethnicity. Then we'd proceed to drop gloves and fucking fight. So that's it. Those are a few common misconceptions about Hawaii. I hope this video has helped you answer any lingering questions you had regarding life here on the islands. Please let me know in the comments down below if you know of or have encountered any other Hawaii stereotypes. I appreciate you watching. See you.